know we'll be riding the waves this summer, but what about riding a horse? Get your mallet, riding boots, and helmet ready. We're playing polo. The real stars of the show today are behind me. Who are we going to be riding today, Nick? This is Luciana, and this is Madrina. This is the bridle here, and uh, this is the, the bit that goes in the mouth. This is called a, a gag. This is a, a martingale. These are the reins here. Coming back down here, we have the bandages that we put onto the horse's legs. They get hit with something that it protects them. Back here, we have the mare's tail, and we tie the tail up with the, the tape. You can see that it's braided, so if the tail swings out and you're swinging the mallet, that you don't get it caught the mallet. Here we have the mallet. Many people say, oh wow, so must be so difficult to hit the ball here, but actually we don't hit the ball there. We hit the ball in this part of the mallet. And it's off to the field we go. Very good. I am used to the equestrian style riding, so the fact that I have to hold a mallet in one hand and reins in the other is going to be interesting, but I think I got this. I have that mallet up in the air, straight up, and then you open your shoulders, look at the ball, and just let the mallet fall down onto the ground. Okay. There you go. Good job. To finish off my polo experience, Nick introduces me to a polo must-have, Yerba Mate. This is where all the polo players get their magic. That's it. The magic is in here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's a little sour. I feel it. I'm ready to go back out there again. Well, Nick, okay. thanks so much for right. having me here. Terrific. And teaching me the ropes. I will definitely be back right. after back. I drink this.